For this tutorial, I'll be using 7 to 8 millimeter yarn, but I will be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So first I want to show you how to make a slip knot. You want to make sure you have at least 7 or 8 inches of excess yarn. To do this you want to overlap your yarn to make a little loop, but make it big enough that you can fit your fingers through. You want to go through and grab your excess yarn, not your working ends, and you want to pull it through but not all the way and tighten pulling your working yarn and the yarn you have pulled through your loop until you have a decent size to fit your hook through. And that's how you make a slip knot. Now I'm going to show you one more time. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to make a magic ring. So you want to start with a slip knot and with your working yarn, you want to wrap it around your crochet hook and you want to pull that top loop of yarn through the bottom loop. That'll be the start of your first stitch. So doing that one more time, you want to take your working yarn, wrap it around your crochet hook and pull it through your slip knot. To make it into one stitch, you want to wrap your yarn around again and again, pull it through that stitch on your hook. That'll be our first stitch. And now you want to work through the big loop, which is now the start of your magic ring. So to make your second stitch, you want to again, go through that loop, wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through just the magic ring circle. You should have two loops of yarn on your hook now. To complete the stitch, you want to yarn over again to wrap your yarn over your hook one more time and pull through those two stitches. In Amigurumi, there are usually six stitches in a magic ring at the beginning of any project. So you want to make sure you have six stitches at the end and the stitch on your hook always counts as one. And you can know how many stitches you have done by counting the amount of teardrops along the side of your magic ring. Remember to always count the loop that is on your hook. To close your magic ring circle and make it tighter, you want to pull on your excess yarn. 